protect our networks, we usually implement multiple automated devices, such as IDSs, IPSs, firewalls, and security configurations. The problem with implementing these systems is that the amount of generated data becomes overwhelming for a human being to sort through. To help with this, we implement SIM and SOAR systems. In this lesson, I'll go over each of these systems and how they work to help protect networks. Security information and event management tools, or SIM tools, work by gathering all sorts of information from a network and putting it together in one central location. More than just aggregating data, SIM systems can also actively read all this information and determine if there's an actual threat. Let's see how this works. Everything starts with the collectors. Log collectors are responsible for gathering event logs from security appliances, host systems, and applications. We can also add sensors to the system in order to capture network packets or data inputs from all the disparate systems on our network. This data is sent to the event collectors and the event collectors send it all to the SIM. SIM software takes this data, reads and analyzes it, and separates it into different categories such as logon attempts, database entries, port scans, network congestion, and more. You can review the reports to help find any suspicious network activity. If data exceeds the defined thresholds of normal network activity, the SIM sends an alert to the security administrator, who then can investigate it and take care of the threat as needed. The next generation of SIM systems are taking things to the next level. By implementing artificial intelligence and machine learning, these new systems can analyze user behavior and sentiment to determine if a threat exists. This can be used to detect threats like spear phishing attacks and insider threats. SIM systems are great at helping network administrators filter data and improve security monitoring, but any alert still requires manual intervention. The acronym SOAR stands for Security Orchestration Automation and Response. SOAR systems also gather and analyze data, but these systems take it to the next level. SOAR is a solution stack of compatible software programs that allow an organization to collect security threat data from multiple sources and respond to low-level security events without human assistance. Let's break this down and see how these systems work. SOAR systems gather the same information as SIM systems do, but they also gather data from multiple third-party tools. The SOAR system coordinates these tools, sensors, and collectors to work together to gather as much relevant data as possible. This is the orchestration piece of a SOAR system. You can set up a SOAR system to automate tasks that are routine, tedious, and time-consuming, such as looking for and deleting phishing emails. This is usually configured using checklists called playbooks or a series of conditional steps called runbooks. Automating these tasks frees up time for your security team to focus on more important things. Finally, a SOAR system is able to automatically respond to threats. For example, if malware is discovered, a SOAR system can identify the threat and quarantine it instead of just sending an alert. That'll wrap things up for now. In this lesson, we went over SIM and SOAR systems. SIM programs work by gathering all sorts of data from sensors and collectors. Then this data is analyzed and alerts are sent out for potential threats. A SOAR system takes this one step further and is able to respond to low-level threats itself. You can configure SOAR systems to automate basic tasks that take up your organization's valuable time. Using both systems can greatly improve your network security.